Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to solve any tile puzzle, or otherwise known as slide puzzle. Right now, you're seeing an iPad screen, um, and the app is Tiles Puzzle. You can go on the App Store and search it, and it's free. You can play it on iPad, iPod Touch, and iPhone. So there's a variety of options with this one app, and plus it's really easy to show you how to do it on this. So, um, you can see at the bottom there's a bunch of options. But I'm not really talking about the app, I'm talking about how to solve a tile puzzle. So I'm just going to choose my picture real quick, I'll just make a quick, cu quick cut here. Now as you can see, I have a, a picture of a 4x4 four four grid with numbers on it, just so that when that happens, I have all the spaces numbered 1 to 16, and that's just the way that I like to do it, but you can do it with any picture, and really with any any dimensions also. After I show you this, I'll show you how to relate it to other versions of the slide puzzle, like a 5x5 or a 3x3, but not with this picture. Um, anyway, let's get started. Of course, we're not going to be worrying about time for this one. So anyway, the way that I like to do this is go from top to bottom and left to right. So, the first thing you want to do is get this one in the top corner. There. So, don't really worry about rules here, just go and put it up in the top corner. Now, next you want the two. So, that's easy. And luckily for us, we had the three there. But I'm going to show you what happens if you don't have the three there and you want to get the three up there. So, this is a good example of a situation where you're going to have to use a certain pattern. So you want to get this three there. How do you do it? Well, this is how you do it. The first thing you want to do is get the empty space beside the three. Then we're going to do it in two steps. Put the three where it wants to go, put the two back where it needs to be, and then put the three back. So I'll show you what I mean. This three has to go there, so we'll move that out of the way and put the three there. But now we move the two. So we're going to move all, the, all of them back and put the two there. Now we're going to move these out of the way and put the three back. So it's a, a quick process and you're able to get the piece that you want where you need it to get. So lastly, the four has to go in the top corner. So we'll move the four over. And to get the four in the top corner, you want to move it underneath the piece beside it. So the piece beside it would be three, so move it underneath. And the easiest way to do this is to move those out of the way and bring the four up to where the three needed to be. Then make the space where the four need to get as a blank space and move everything over. So there you have it. The top row is done. Now, you just have to repeat this for the other layers. Um, there are other ways to get the pieces where you want to, but here I'm going to show you again. This is what the pattern looks like when you do it fast. Fast-ish, I guess. And lastly, the 8. Same pattern as before. So there, now we have the top two rows done. <clears throat> the bottom row is kind of different. The best way to do this is to work from left to right. So the two pieces that have to go there are the 9 has to go there and the 13 has to go there. Um, the way I'm going to do this, and the way that I always recommend you do it, is get the 13 and the 9 beside each other with the 13 on the left. Then rotate all of these pieces in a circular fashion and you'll end up with the 9 and the 13 there. So now, you don't have to worry about the top two or the side column. You only have to worry about these six spots. What you should do now is move the piece that has to go there to that spot, which is the 10. So move the 10 there. Now, the piece beside the 10 is the one you want to get next, which is the 11. So, we're going to do the exact same thing. Get the 11 underneath, 
It's okay if you don't have it exactly in this orientation, but if you can figure out how to get the 10 and the 11 beside each other like this, with them at one space below where they need to be, then you can do this pattern, which is the exact same as before. And lucky for us, that's all we had to do. So, I'll do it again a little bit faster. Of course, it's not really the fastest I can do because um, of the space I'm in, I guess you could say. But it's just the same patterns that I've showed. You just have to do them fast and get familiar with them. So the 13 and the 9 beside each other. I'm kind of lucky with the end there again. Um, so that's how to solve a 4x4 grid. To solve a 3x3 grid, let me just choose the picture once again. So I know the picture isn't the greatest, but either way, you do the exact same thing, the exact same pattern as you do before. Get the 1 to the top corner. Now get the 2 to the top corner. And the 3, you'll do the exact same thing as the 4. Just move everything around there. In this last six, you're going to treat it the same as the bottom right corner of the four by four. So you get the four where it needs to be and the five. This time, we are trying to get the six up there. The easiest way to do it is just like that. Similar to how you're trying to get the three in the top and just move it over. So I'll show once again. So that was a quick 3x3. Three three. And the 5x5, five five, um, you just use the same skill. This unfortunately is not a very good picture, but it should work okay. Uh, I'm not really going to explain this one, I'm just going to try to do it. Because it's just the same skills as before. And I want to just show that it can be applied to all different kinds of puzzles of slide puzzles. So now the 13 is there. Yeah, unfortunately this is not a very good picture, so it can be kind of difficult. Um, like, I'm not really sure. I guess this is 50. So now you're going to want the 16 and the 21. And I know I'm speaking in terms of numbers, but if you had a, a picture, it would be the same thing, just with that section. And you have to kind of use your own judgment to see where all that is. So anyway, that's the 5x5. Five five. And that's going to be all for this video. So thanks for watching everybody, and I hope you learned in a basic way how to solve any tile puzzle. If you work on these tricks, you'll be able to solve it fast in no time. So thanks for watching.